Hi, this is Mike from the Substream. Welcome to this special shitty year in terrible review, special crap edition of Idiot Watch This Instead. It has not been a great year for movies. Everything sucks. Everything sucks. So there's this kind of movie, there's this kind of movie, the lazy, no effort, no hope, cash in movie that these people do from time to time. So they think if we just get enough stars, if we just get enough famous people, we don't have to actually write an interesting script or have anything happen. We can literally just put them in a house or beside a lake and shoot them with a camera and they'll, people will come see it. And they do. And that, uh, that, and this thing that they do has been responsible for two of the worst movies of the year. You've got Meet the Fockers, okay, where you have a cast of Robert De Niro, Ben Stiller, Blythe Danner, Barbara Streisand, Dustin Hoffman, Harvey Keitel, Laura Dern, and Owen Wilson, all of whom who give zero <laughs> whatsoever and just crank out another useless sequel turd of a franchise that no one's been excited about for like five years. No one is looking forward to this movie. No one wants to see or hear more of these jokes, these no effort, super lazy jokes where famous people that got to be famous and earned our trust as actors by being in creative, daring movies, they're now all old and just, I don't maybe want money. They want to work, but they don't want to work hard. They don't want to take risks. So they make these sh ridiculous, not funny cash-in movies that, you know, they still cost $15, same as every other movie. That same, we're famous, we don't need to try miserliness of spirit and lack of creativity brought us the fourth worst movie of the year, this year, which is Grown Ups. The big set piece in this movie, this big summer blockbuster that we're all supposed to line up and go see on Friday night and be so excited about because it's got such funny, amazing people in it, like David Spade and Adam Sandler and Chris Rock. The big set piece of this movie is they go to a water park and have fun in a water park. That's it, that's how creative they get. The first half of the movie, they're in a cabin and there's cabin jokes. Sometimes they look at a girl's butt, sometimes they fart, and then the big payoff, you think, I've been waiting for two hours, they have cr crazy adventure at a water park. That's the magic of movies. That laziness and lack of effort, it's not to blame for every bad movie that's come out this year, because the thing that's ruined two of the other movies, the other two movies I want to talk about, is probably too much work. It's the incredibly expensive, incredibly laborious process of converting what is it actually a 2D movie that they went and shot with normal, normal cameras into a 3D movie in post, because movie studio people are literally the, the scaredest people in the universe. Well, we just have our movies 2D, it's not 3D. But that movie was 3D, they made money. So they make their movie in 3D and they take a movie like Clash of the Titans or The Last Airbender and they put it in a computer and make a bunch of people turn it into a 3D movie. Then these movies are not good in 2D. This, these movies are not pieces of art. But it's when you take a 2D Shamilian thing and put a 3D scrim of fart optics on it that makes it impossible to actually understand what's going on and gives you a headache and makes you want to puke. It's like going to the art gallery and looking at the world's ugliest painting that also smells like <laughs> And if you look at it long enough and smell it long enough and you think, I never knew you could even smell a painting. If you look at it long enough, a little animatronic child's gasp get spring foot shoots out of the wall, kicks you in the testicles, and then you puke on the painting and nobody ever even bothers to clean it off because who cares? They got your money. Also, Sex and the City 2 came out, in which we got to watch a woman that looks like a foot carved out of mahogany spend hundreds of thousands of dollars of other people's money on expensive, fabulous clothes and vacations in the Middle East. And then they have a moment where they understand what it's like to be a Muslim woman. And it's like this really shitty, awful, idiots, cross-cultural moment of union. And then we all watch that and think, oh, so many diamonds are so pretty, these old women who are dumb and have dumb adventures and spend money on leather bags and special shoes with red soles. And then we go home to our foreclosed houses and, our, and put on our barrels with leather straps because we just got took for 60 bucks, whatever it costs, to see all of these shitty goddamn movies. So go watch anything else instead. And also, Happy New Year! 2011 is gonna be better.